Hey, we're back at it. You're listening to Montgomery College. You're listening to The Box right now on WMCR, the hottest radio station in the DMV area. And we got a special guest artist in the studio as well as co-host. We got Nick right here. How's it going? It's good. It's going good. Glad to be here. And we got Grammar right now in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. So you're a local DMV artist, but specifically you're from the V, Virginia. Northern Virginia, yeah, Northern Virginia. Yeah, like what's significant to you about being a rapper um, coming out of Virginia? Uh, I'd say it's, it's a little bit more of an obstacle because, I mean, uh, coming, coming in the, um, when you look at things, I mean, we weren't like in the, hub of where hip-hop began and things like that so we're more so outsiders um looking in um and it's yeah so so it's a little bit tougher to break through but things are happening now things happen at certain times or at the right times for the right reasons and it's happening now here on wmcr so so you know i guess geographically you know being from nova it's like uh that 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 is an actual obstacle right like you're not able to just link with with guys that are exactly. downtown like, exactly. like people don't realize it's still what 45 minutes exactly you know from downtown dc and and, and there's know. nothing really set up for local like aspiring i'll, I'll just keep it as aspiring uh, aspiring hip-hop artists there's not sure those kind of venues that even allow that you know what i mean i'd like i had a band and i had to like that would, that would be the only way i'd be able to do some of those venues out there is if i had a band kind of change up the sound a little bit, you know what I mean? I mean, that was fun for me too, but, right. you know. Cool. So. How long have you been making music? Um, I've been, yeah, a long time. Can't, I mean, it's just, it was just, I guess, just you were evolutionary born. prop, yeah. It was just, and then you just started making music and. I, I, I mean, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't really like that. I guess, I mean, I guess just to keep it, to keep it short, uh, I mean, just, just listening, to different music and stuff like that is coming up like oldies and all that stuff my parents would play and all that um definitely gave me a liking to music and when i first heard rap i liked it a lot um first seen my cousin freestyle and that was like the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life a video like, i had it on videos it was like how did you do like it was crazy but i didn't i didn't have no inclination to like rap at that time i just thought it was the coolest thing i've ever sure. seen you know and then i mean sometimes at uh family events i might be uh, like I remember, I was waking the big timer so I know you know the Gator Boo. <laughs> I was about to take. I didn't know the words to like the uh, to the um, verses or nothing, but I'm just like, yeah, yeah. But I know the hook though. Oh, it hooks hook. everything. Yeah, I knew the hook though, and I just had everyone rocking and stuff like that. It was cool. But um, yeah, really in like like eighth grade, um, me and my boy would uh, sit back and just like dissect music, um, dissect lyrics and stuff like that. And then um, we heard like an instrumental that we liked a lot, and kind of just like. We just liked it, and then we just started rapping, really. Just kind of started rapping, and then took off from there, and I started taking it seriously when I got out of high school. And, yeah, here yeah, now. Nice. Cool. So, Who are some people um, that you're, like, working with right now, like your team? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, and uh, my engineer, well, I have two engineers, um, Sergio Cortez. He's a D.C.-based engineer. And um, also my boy, Marcus Anthony. He's another one as well. Um, and then, I mean, back home, we have kind of have a circle uh, called Braddock Road. So there's a few other artists that uh, I collaborate with in that circle as well. We all came up to coming up together and stuff like that. So, gotcha. so, so those guys, your engineers now, are they sort of like helping you craft like a sound? Yeah. Do you, like, do you have a vision for that sound? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Anytime I come, anytime I come to the studio, it'd either be I'd have a melody in my head already or I'd have. I might have wrote over a beat and I, there's certain things I want to change or a certain song I want to mesh with that and I'll bring it to my producer. Because like, Sergio is a producer as well. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's a lot of notables. You can look him up. But um, yeah, we'd mesh those together and he'd do his thing. I, I, I just have, I bring him the tools. He makes it, you know what I'm saying? He makes it he paints, happen. He paints the he, he, picture. Yeah, exactly. And then I lay it on wax. And it's, yeah. That's cool. Um, I want to get into some performances you've done because I saw on your um, YouTube channel. If you could shout out your YouTube for all the listeners at home so they can find you, that would be awesome. Yeah, you can find me at Grammar. Um, probably the easiest thing for y'all to do. I mean, because it's Grammar. It's like I'm still I'm still moving up there in like terms of that name. <laughs> it's pretty it's like pretty common. But um, if you just type in Pluck Status, you'll find me anywhere. Okay. And that's P L C P L U C K Status. 
S T A T U S. You'll find me. Yeah, you can find him on YouTube, and he's got a couple of stuff up there. Cause some artists, you know, um, that are coming out, they don't have a lot of stuff on YouTube. So it's really nice that you have some stuff up there for people to see, and you produce a lot of it too, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I'm hands on with everything. That's good. That's 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 really incredible to do. I saw you have a song. It's N Y, and then you're like at a MTV Rockley City. Oh yeah, yeah, Nim TV. Yeah, Nim TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was invited there last year. I did the city stage with Lil Yachty uh, headlining that one. Um, that was a great experience. I did that with my band. It was awesome. Wow, yeah, was Lil Yachty awesome. though. Like that's an incredible experience. How did how did you get the opportunity to just network and? Um, open for somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I'll start by saying shout out One Love Massive, um, my homie Chadwick. Shout out Molly. They're always so helpful. Um, so they got me that opportunity, and because they were they were actually leading that stage, and they decided to choose me for that, and it was dope. That's huge. I mean, Broccoli City seems to be growing year after year. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's definitely yeah. It's definitely tight. What are some other performances you've done? Um, I mean, I've opened, I mean, I've done Echo Stage, opened up for. Game, Pusha T, uh, Meek Mill, um, the uh, Underachievers. Actually, the the one the one venue they did have in Northern Virginia that got closed down was um, what was it called? It was Jacks at first, and they changed it to something else. I know everyone from the Nova will know. I can't remember right. Empire, Empire, and that, and that was run really well. I had great artists always coming through there. So yeah, I had a chance to open up for the Underachievers. Um, nice. A lot of other a lot of other artists. Stuff like that. So that was cool. That's incredible. That's incredible. I also, I want for everybody at home. Where can we find you? What's what's some social media platforms you like to use? Um, I'm definitely all over Instagram. It's a huge one for me. So you can find me at the nim t h e dot y. I mean dot n dot y dot m. Um, and then Facebook. You look up grammar. You'll find me that way. I'm also on Twitter. Um at uh, the uh, the underscore NYM, so. Perfect, um, I'm gonna get into one of your songs right now just to give everybody home a little, a little bit of taste of grammar. If you don't, have you ever, if you haven't already heard him. Uh, I'm gonna put on Enough Is Enough. Before I lead into the song, um, do you wanna tell us a little bit about the song? Yeah, Enough Ain't Enough. Um, uh, it's really, I'm really just painting a picture of, I don't know, just kind of a love experience when you get to the point when it's like, you think that it's enough. But it's still, it still isn't. You just still have a longing for more. Um, I mean, the song will kind of speak better than I can, to be honest with you. Got you. Okay, so we're on WMCR, and we're with Grammar in the studio. I'm Kinsey, and Nick is our co-host. And we'll be back right after this song. Keep it locked. <laughs> Hey, look, baby, can I heal? Do your thing, be that heaven that you feel. Do your veins, let me take you on the real. Pass your window panes, I'ma step inside. Let me rain. Love and hate intertwines in the state. The perfect gateway to ride through your interstates. If you if you take my hand, I can instill your faith. Open open up your dreams. I can tell you where your fate. I know you've been deprived. I'm hoping to revive when you feel you're giving up. That's when I arrive inside. I know you stay around the fake suckers all the time. You blinded by they shine, but mine's divine. You praying for the distance, what you thought I couldn't tell. Your wishes get carried by the waves in my well. Step into the the portal for more of the immortality yeah. the flesh unsure when well, I spirit okay. says yeah feel the rush when I touch gripping on the plush tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up we yeah. can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp I just pray we break through when enough ain't enough feel the rush when I touch gripping on the plush tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up we can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp I just pray we break through when enough ain't enough yo I'm a lion I'm a king I'm a client in your dreams when you feel yeah. you're ready i'll remind you what it means this moment yeah, right man. here would have found your self-esteem forever you know what ever, I'm here for. ever. Uh. i'm a lion i'm a king i'm a client in your Always. dreams when you feel you're ready i'll uh. remind you what it means this moment right here would have found your self-esteem forever ever ever i know you've been deprived i'm hoping to revive when you feel you're giving up what? that's when i arrive inside i 
know you stay around the fake suckers all the time. Know you blinded by they shine, but mine's divine. Yeah. You praying for the distance, but you thought I couldn't tell. I know you you wishes get carried by the waves in my well. Yeah. Step into the portal for mortal to immortal. Leave yeah. the flesh unsure. Well, our spirit says, yeah, hey. feel the rush when I touch. Dripping on the plush. Tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up. We yeah. can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp. I just pray we break through when enough ain't enough. Feel the rush when I touch. Dripping on the plush. Tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up. We can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp. I just pray we break through when enough ain't enough. Hey. Control. Take you, take you home. Let it take you home. You been here way too long. Hey, control. Control. I'm here to take you home. You been here way too long. Hey, I'm here to take you home. You been here way too long. Hey, I know you've been deprived. I'm hoping to revive when you feel you giving up. That's when I arrive inside. I know you stay around the fake suckers all the time. Know you blinded by they shine, but mine's divine. Yeah. You praying for the distance, but you thought I couldn't tell. I know you wishes get carried by the waves in my well. Yeah. Step into the portal for mortal to immortal. Leave yeah. the flesh unsure. Well, our spirit says, yeah, hey. feel the rush when I touch. Dripping on the plush. Tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up. We yeah. can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp. I just pray we break through when enough ain't enough. Feel the rush when I touch. Ripping on the plush Tell me how it feel when I start to turn it up We can ride this thing forever long as heaven's on the cusp I just pray we break through When enough ain't enough We back at it You listen to The Box On WMCR And we in the studio with Grammar Yeah, yeah, that was, that was unreleased tracks for the ladies right there It's enough ain't enough Perfect. And we got our co-host, Nick. What's going on? So I want to get back into, you know, your story as an artist and your journey in music. I know you said about 17 years old, that's when you started taking things more serious. Yeah. L- listening to, you know, breaking down music with your, your boys out there at Braddock Road. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're starting to form like this collective that was, well, was well, probably the yeah, the yeah. infant stage of that. Yeah. yeah it was. A, yeah. So before Braddock Road, it was... um. It was uh I was in a group called Crown Diamonds and um we yeah we were doing we were doing shows at, like the like the little spots that we can get into and stuff like that like maybe the eighteen and up we were like seventeen eighteen stuff like that getting into those and then when Eden opened we were doing shows there um and I had taken it seriously at that point um so like while 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 I was in that group um I had gotten I was, I was getting into trouble and things like that and um when it's- when I really sat down and just like thought about things and like where my life was heading, cause I, I mean, cause I, I came up playing sports and all that, sure. uh, basketball and soccer, like forever and stuff like that. And just seeing how drastically my life was changing. I know that I needed to make changes as well. Um, mm-hmm. So that was when I really, that was when we really started doing shows, really started making music every day, really started being in there. Um, and it led up, I mean, I, I, mean, I knew I was gonna be incarcerated uh, for three years, so I um so once once I once I got there is when I really had a chance to sit down and um reflect really, yeah reflect and reflect of course and really hone hone in on my abilities and what I wanted to do because this when when you're in that position it's either you go one way or another you know what I'm saying it's either right. gonna make you it's gonna break you so I decided that that it's gonna make me um so I really really took it serious then and I really that's when I got good um. That's when I started getting melodies in my head, starting writing things. You know what I mean? Like the song y'all just heard, I wrote that over Sade's lyrics when I, when, you nice. know what I'm saying, when I was in there and stuff like that. And a lot of a lot of other records you you hear were from that time. Um, and I'm just here to make timeless music now. So. Right on. That's what's up. So you you like to like write a lot of your own music. Do you do freestyles as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Very cool. I know that later um, we're going to get, um, before, we're going to play another one of your songs in a minute. It's going to be Minimum Wage. And then you're going to you're gonna sing for us over a track. All right. Got you. <laughs> but I got the, you. But this is your idea. This is your idea. It's going to be over um, Dead Presidents. So definitely stick around for that. But before that, I want to ask you, um, how long does it take for you to just come up with a song and like lay out a whole track? Um, it depends. It, de- it really depends. I mean, sometimes... 
Sometimes I could, sometimes it comes to you and you could just rock off and do it. Sometimes it might take me months. Um, sometimes I might just be gathering ideas around a song, know what I want to do with it, and then something could spark it where, to where I can start writing, you know what I mean? Um, What's the fastest any track ever came together? Fastest any track ever came together was Don O.D. Uh, that was fast. That was very fast. It was like, I just couldn't stop. It just kept coming. I just couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop writing. Yeah. It was a good feeling. I stayed up till like, I wrote the first two verses, or the three verses on the song. You can find it on SoundCloud as well as Don O.D. Um, uh, I wrote the first two verses in the same night, and I was like, I can, I'm going to wake up and write the third. Woke up and wrote the third. Quick. Yes, I mean everyone loves that that record. So it's, is that I, is that uh, you know motivating for you as an artist when you get like a run like that where you're just oh, you're feeling it? That's one and, of the best you know, feelings, right? Yeah, when it's you like that, that, it's high. one of the best feelings. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I mean, every every artist goes through so what I mean, quotation writer's block or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. But you just gotta you just gotta push through if you're not able to necessarily put your ideas down on paper. There's other ways you can open those doors to be you know what I mean to be able to do that like reading helps you might you might you might need to go on a run you know what I mean loosen your mind up there's a lot of things you can do to be able to do that and get in your space get in your zone you know but it's just a process always always take your time you know what I mean always take I mean don't don't like be lazy or anything like that but definitely take, <laughs> work diligently and take your time and just know right have, have faith that's that's always good to do um, I know earlier we talked about um, some places you've performed, and I want to ask you um, some people you've opened for. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, as I said before, yeah, like the game was a huge, uh, was a huge uh, name I opened for. Uh, Meek Mill, um, Underachievers, Pusha T. Uh, Did you get to meet any of these guys when you opened for them? Uh, yeah, I met the Underachievers, and then there was a bunch, there was other ones like, there was other rappers. I'm so, so I can't remember the other names on the bill, but they're they're big artists as well. Um, Dylan Cooper, that was one of them. He's actually from Maryland. He's actually from Maryland too. So shout him out. Um, he's dope. I'm, yeah, I met him. He was cool. Um, didn't meet. The, I, I got a, I got a head nod from the game. You know, I got a head <laughs> nod from the game. That's huge though. Yeah, when he went on stage, he chugged the entire bottle of Henny. It was wild. I was like, well, this <laughs> is crazy. unreal. Uh, you're wild. You're a savage. But um, yes, yeah, so, I mean. Yeah. Cool, it's cool, you know. Yeah, that's neat. I like how you're just like, no, nah, it's no big deal. That's, you know, I open for you oh, know yeah. the game. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. <laughs> you ever had like a nothing, but. you ever had like a fanboy moment? He's like, I don't know. I gotta think about it. Or who would you fanboy out on? Like, if you got to meet or open for, like, who's kind of like the artist for you? Mm. Or other multiple, or you um, know. I mean, it'd be crazy if I met Kendrick. That'd be that'd be wild. I guess that sure. seems almost cliche at this point. But yeah, it'd be crazy if I met him. Jay Z, that'd be wild. Nas would be crazy. Um, but I mean, when I look at, I mean, and yeah, you know, I always pay homage. But I'm just kind of just focused on what my path is. You know what I mean? Like when I when I when I came home and I made we made that hit record for our city, Rise Up. Um, I wasn't. Like going into it, I knew like I just I just always have faith. I always keep a positive mindset, and I knew it was gonna be good. I knew it was gonna have a good outcome, and um, everyone's sitting around jumping around like it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. But I'm like, yo, what's next? Like, this ain't we ain't made it. Like, you know what right. I mean? Like, right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I had a face. You can see my face now. It's what it looked like then. It's just like, all right, next. Yeah. You yeah. know. So, yeah. What would you say to all the artists out there that don't have a positive mindset and, you know, don't maybe feel like they can make it? Like, do you think that's ex extremely important as an upcoming artist to stay positive? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And to have faith um, and have a great team around you, create a great team around you, great support system. Um, and don't give up. Honestly, any, any, anybody could be an artist, hip hop artist, if, if they want to. There's always a niche market for everybody. There's a niche market for any, everything, you know, so... You just got to not limit yourself. You can never limit yourself at all. You don't put yourself in no box, you know? Right, except, except when, you're on, when you're on WMCR. Then, then, then yeah, yeah, then we're in the box. You, the actually, box. you actually are in the box. <laughs> yeah, we're actually in a box. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody at home, I'm going to play one song right now. It's called Minimum Wage by Grammar, who we have in the studio right now in WMCR yeah. Studios. Um, I'm your co-host, Kinsey, along with Nick, and we'll be back right after this song. Yo, 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 what's 
up, man? Hey, this next one right here, it's called Minimum Wage. Uh, yo, for all my high time individuals, yeah. I'm getting tired, I'm spending my days like my dreams stuck in minimum wage. And I can't go in the city, steady, stuck and replay. Same six snips hitting the jet, ayy. And I can't go. In the streets with a bag of the dreams And leave with a bag of the drugs And I can't go I'm sick and tired of my venomous ways A young nigga trying to pet his hey, dead Hey, I'm calling out to anybody Hoping that they hear me I'm reaching out to anyone Hoping that they feel me Ain't fucking with the law You know they don't really feel me They already locked me up Told me next time they might kill me I'm facing 25, 25 I need some drive in the spaces garage I ain't content on just being alive No suit and no tie me in crime, so if I do this right, you gotta start investing in minds. You're blessing with dreams, you know I'll show affection through grind. And you know I'm getting better with time. I keep it right by my side, the bullshit. It gets pushed to the side, so when my girl be yogging, that's why she gets no reply. Paying no mind, ain't no time for me no more. People calling with their problems, I don't need no more. So if you see a new vibe and feel no need to break the silence, pay my energy is homage and just leave me on my island, cause I'm striving to walk with my best foot. It's hard to look alive and I'm surrounded by dead looks. My mom compared death to the way that my bed looks. And homies press to death just to see how they bread looks. Tell your Lord, I've been pent up. Weariness and got the best of me. I catered to the world so they don't know the rest of me. I cook the flesh right off these beats and let my soul rest in peace. I pray to God, 9 to 5 ain't my only recipe. Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship. That we're, in essence, his masterpiece. I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning and look in the mirror, I don't see a masterpiece, you know. I mean, maybe maybe a, a Picasso, you know. But I want to be a masterpiece. And I want to be everything that God has created me to be. And so I go to him in prayer and I say, God, do whatever it takes. I'm getting tired. I'm spending my days like my dreams stuck in minimum wage. And I can't go. In the city, steady, stuck and replay. Same six snips hitting the jet, ayy. And I can't go. In the streets with a bag of the dreams And leave with a bag of the drugs And I can't go I'm sick and tired of my venomous ways A young nigga trying to bet his hey. dad Hey, I think I called to everybody I don't think they hear me Maybe it's my tone They don't understand this feeling In this world I'm alone The unprecedented villain And I'm sorry you can't get in You just do not fit the vision What you mean? What you mean? I ain't a king You can weigh me and go You can pay me for my worth All people pay to be young Hear me in your conversation they was hating before Same news Getting mad as they was late to the show But anyways, I'm maintaining Working eight into four I'm on probation, so I'm taking it slow But these days is deprivating Man, I need my generations to grow So what the fuck you think I'm changing it for? Oh well, here's another news Another story to tell If you tell it, better tell it so well You better tell it to sell And sell these people said it's selling yourself I seen hell from a six by six in a cell With six inches of faith, Lord Will I prevail in six minutes of grace? See what I find in myself. And if time will tell, Lord, give me the scale. Cause I'ma push it to the limit. No more way to be filled. Before you give me the loot, Lord, bless you with help. So I can live long enough to see the image I dealt. I'm dreaming of. Wink's working on a deal where I can get free studio time. Record my demo. I'm getting tired. I'm spending my days like my dreams stuck in minimum wage. And I can't go. In the city, steady, stuck and replay. Same six snips hitting the jet, ayy. And I can't go in the streets with a bag of the dreams and leave with a bag of the drugs. And I can't go. I'm sick and tired of my venomous ways. A young nigga trying to pet his dad, ayy. back at it we back at it wmcr your college's favorite radio station your favorite radio station in the dmv area and we're in the studio right now with grammar and i got my co-host nick with me hey howdy 
Um, so we just played one of your songs, and I want to get into, you got some more stuff coming up for us. You got an EP coming out in April. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect from that project. I do, I do, I do. Don't tell them I'm famous. Don't let them EP. know. Um, yeah, so yeah, what you can expect from me on there is really uh, like the root, like the roots of where I, like, of, of like my influences and where I'm at meshed in with the times now and kind of just dealing with um like the come like dealing with the come up in the stage that i'm at now because i mean i'm not no big name or nothing like that right now but um yeah you're fighting you're trying to get there yeah i mean i am you know what i mean i am don't get it wrong it's just <laughs> not to not to everybody yet you know so yeah so how many records are on the ep uh i got about six on there i got about six on the ep i might extend to one more possibly but I'm not sure. I can definitely tell you one name um, that'll be on there. I was going to su- have this as a surprise, but uh, I got DJ Tay James um, featured on there. It's Justin Bieber's tour DJ. What? And um, that's, gonna, that's really special for me. It's really special. It's a good foot forward. And I appreciate him for doing that for me. That's so, sweet. Yeah. No, he's a big deal. I'm familiar with Tay James. He's, he's, he's yeah. what you said. Yeah. He's all over the world. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, he does his thing. Yeah. Does is that the thing. artist that was like on the, on the run? And no, he, no, oh, no. Okay. You're thinking about Tay K. That's oh. why. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, this is Justin Bieber's tour DJ. <laughs> Let's be clear. He's not yeah. uh, a fugitive. He has, he has resi- residency in clubs all over the world. He can go everywhere he wants. That's that's really exciting though. Your collaborations just seem to be you know stepping up every time. Yeah. That's that's what's up. Okay. Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can always, I just want to let everybody know that you can like expect something from grammar at any point in time. Cause I know you had that thing where you tried, where you put out a song like every Sunday. I want to remember what that was yeah, called. Yeah, Soul Food Sunday. Yeah, yeah Soul I'm Food Sunday. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered that. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. That was, I mean, that was just me testing the wires, giving, I mean, they hadn't heard me in a little bit. So just giving them little bits, of, bits and pieces here and there to see kind of the direction it, that's fit for me to go in. Just give me ideas, give me my wheels turning for the project I have now and my later ideas and stuff like that, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so if you guys don't follow him on SoundCloud, what are you doing? You've been listening to this whole, you know, episode, follow him on SoundCloud right now. Can you drop it for us real quick? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The SoundCloud is, um, it is the NIM. So you can find me at the NIM, T-H-E-N-Y-M. Or as I said, just type in Pluck Status and you'll find me on SoundCloud. You'll find me on YouTube. Um, and one of my latest releases, I'll uh, definitely shout out um, my boy Perry. Me and my boy Perry directed that. It was Soul Surfer 91. Um, it's a classic track for y'all. So, yeah, definitely go look that up as well. Real quick, Pluck Status, that's, that's a big record for you. That ended up being a big we, record. I don't think we explained what the significance of Pluck Status, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. I, yeah, so Pluck Status ended up being a big record. Um, it was something I had started working on in, like, 2015. Uh, 2015. Um, I was just messing around at work, and I was like, yo, I really am feeling this. And then um, I was going to actually use it to promote the Dono D single that I dropped to promote the um, little small uh, little mixtape that I, I had dropped at that time, the Bass in the Souls Volume 1. You can find that on SoundCloud as well. But what ended up happening is that, that song just overpowered everything that I did, and it just became the one. So I shot a video for it, and... I perform. I perform it still to this day. Everyone loves that song, so they tell me to perform it. I perform it for them. For everybody just tuning in, we got Grammar in the studio. Um, he's a local artist in the DMV area, and you know it's two thirty right now. But I, I, would, would you mind going a little bit over because I do want to have you freestyle or get into your. Track. I got you. Yeah, Northern Virginia, Northern Virginia for sure. Yes, specifically yeah, yeah. in the DMV, he's in Virginia, and I'm gonna play it right now. And let's let's get in it. Let's get into it. You turn my mic up a tiny bit. Got you. You turn it up. Yeah. Yo, my mental is monumental. I'm washing it with the pencil. I'm flossing the true credentials of fraudulence from your dentals. These just wanna talk. These just wanna. My hustlers just wanna thrive. These younger just wanna butt. Whatever you captured through your rapture, beauty or a disaster. I'm just hoping that my master will peace in my morning afters. From the pain to the gain, family before the fame, the triumph through all the crying, the growing after the rain. Uh. 
And ain't no sense in ducking the heat I see him coming now, I know my angel's covering me Sliding through the cold mugs and haters tapping my shield My honor show me right then, these had, had to be killed Had to be ill, inherited some ravenous skills The scrap in the building, pie is higher than the capitals built I pay my debts up, my credit debt Regret, I don't regret Left it all behind in the back of my mind To having the hoe, carry, marry Then I bury the deeper the sand The more I see it's getting scary on some Drake-ish Take six, be patient while I face this and get intoxicated through enlightenment it's laced with uh yeah Woo. what Woo. up okay got me warmed up I like that. <laughs> all right we cutting it we back at it we on the box that was grammar hey in the studio get that i need to get the sound well, of well sound. done yeah that was amazing applause we're applauding in the studio right yeah, now need that the little studio audio <laughs> yeah, exactly, little audio effect yeah. thank you hey, for James, that let me know how you feel about that man <laughs> Um, you know, he's a busy man. He's got places to be. Um, but thank you so much for coming in the studio today. Sure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Nick, as well. No, it was great to chop it up with you, man. Thanks for coming through. Yes, it's dope. Definitely. Very dope. Definitely. A pleasure. Before we go, is there anything else you want to let uh, your fans and listeners know before you head out? Yeah. Um, yeah. Let y'all know. EP is coming April. Don't tell them I'm famous. You can look out for the videos, the visuals, all that. Just all the content. Um, you know I'm coming. And it's Northern Virginia. We're on the rise, baby. And where can we find you on Instagram too? A shout and also shout out my D, uh, my DJ DJ Powerhouse, my girl Jenna as well. Always there supporting me. I appreciate it. Got a good team. Um, and you said what? I'm sorry. Oh, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me at t h e dot y. I mean dot n. So t h e dot n dot y dot m. The them. Bet, bet, bet. The new youth movement. And then you can find Nick too. Where can we find you on Instagram, Nick? Ah, at this is nicknames. This is so easy. <laughs> I gotta find something easy. <laughs> what you want, man? Simplicity. It's worth it. It's worth right. looking it up. Thanks for coming in the studio, Grammar. For sure. Uh, it was a pleasure having you. And shout out to everybody out there. We got all our box crew. We got Shelly, Hillary, Fuzzy, Chris, Giuseppe, Nombi's at home. I mean, the whole box crew, there's so many people shout out. Of Professor course, Copeland. Professor Copeland. Shout out Copeland. Shout out MCTV for coming in the studio. You can find MCTV on Instagram too. Uh, it's MC and social. And then you can find us on Instagram, E Radio WMCR. We put a little uh, promo for Grammar last night. Yep, nice. And uh, we're always coming out with new things. And we'll be That's back right. next week, Friday, 2 to 2.30. Don't miss it. Uh, thanks. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and y'all staff here was very, um, the hospitality was awesome. I appreciate it, and I encourage any artists or any other people that y'all have come on the show to definitely come to WMCR, The Box. This is, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have a good rest of your Friday. We out. Peace.